Hello all and welcome to a simple and short casting video, I hope. I'm going to be uh, making a couple of projects using bronze, but I don't have any bronze yet. Now I've been uh, looking up some of the statistics on uh, what bronze is used most for, uh, for casting and it's usually like a 12% tin, 88% copper ratio. So um, recently, while uh, at work, I found this uh, tin rod, and it does say it's tin, and I looked this up, tin 422 was pr apparently a product number, and it says 4060 on it. So I looked up what this means, but this is actually 40% tin, 60% lead. So I'm not going to be using this, obviously, because I don't want bronze with lead in it. So um, I've, uh, I've been making some tin ingots in the past using uh, a small graphite mold. And uh, these are actually made out of uh, lead-free solder that I had left. And that's basically very pure tin. Uh, look that up. There's uh, at least no lead in them. So I thought let's... I don't probably need a lot. Let's make a simple uh, estimate. So um, I found two of these little ingots that together are 120 grams. So if I need 12%, then I need 880 grams of copper. So that would uh, make for one kilogram of copper. Now, I also have this nice bigger graphite mold, which I have never used before. And uh, this should hold at least uh, one kilogram of um, uh, gold, but gold has a... a bigger weight than uh, uh, a higher weight than uh, any other metals uh, that I use wish I used gold but uh, this should be enough for uh, about a kilogram of bronze so yeah then I need 880 grams of copper so I went through my bucket of uh, wires and I came across a couple of nice bundles and a couple of degaussing cables from CRT televisions stay on there and well you know 883 grams so I'm gonna take that I could probably snip off a bit and, and weigh it uh, afterwards I'll probably do that and try to get that three grams off and make it as perfect as possible let me go and uh, set up my electric uh, furnace and then uh, melt the copper add the tin Mix it all around and pour an ingot. Hopefully, we'll see. All right, let's let this thing heat up a bit. Uh, I got a new crucible for this because I don't want to uh, use the crucible that has all the brass uh, leftovers in it. I'm going to uh, snip this wire into manageable pieces so that it will fit completely in there. Well, that when that is molten. I'll add the two degaussing cables, which are a lot thinner, so will probably melt fast. And when that is all molten, then I will be adding the little tin ingots. And then we'll mix it around and let it heat up some more. And um, then pour it and see what happens. Well, it's over the melting point of copper now. Let's have a quick look. All nice and shiny. Once this is all molten, I'll add the tin and, uh, and the other two pieces. This is what you get when uh, degaussing coils or uh, other copper wire has lacquer on it. Uh, th that basically burns off. I'm going to wait until the flames die down and then I'll probably be able to close the lid. Uh, I did decide to uh, put all the copper in first and I'll add the tin at the end. I got a small bundle of copper which I will use to stir until the whole thing dissolves. Because I don't yet have a um, graphite stirring rod. I should order one. So yeah, back in a bit. Yeah. How about that? You can barely see. But See if there's any there's a 
couple of bigger pieces on top. That's uh, and a lot of powder. And I got some stuck on my spatula, but that'll melt off later. Let's give this a few minutes. And then come back and add the tin. Right, let's see if I can get some of this slag off. This is all the dust that collected from uh, from the lacquer. It's weird stuff. I'll just carefully add the tin now. Get the uh, Out of the way there. Start with one. Wonder what will happen. We'll see. Come on, drop. It's less of a reaction than I actually expected. Wow, it, that melts quick. I'm gone. Now let's see if I can. And I use this copper thing as a stirring rod, at least for a bit. I guess not for very long. I'll stir it at least a bit, so we'll see. Right, let's give it a, uh, a minute or two and then get ready to pour. Well, isn't that something? Just at the last moment, my camera overheated. I wonder how that happened. Let's see if I can set you up here. Well, uh, everything is... Uh... Everything is mixing, hopefully. Let's uh, heat this thing up and get all the moisture out because we don't want to repeat of uh, what happened when I made the Christmas star. Look at that video if you're interested in, interested in seeing some failing. Let's see. There's some crap in there. Oh yeah. Wow, there's a lot of that powder on the bottom. Oh, too bad the piece is stuck. Well, it's for remelting anyway at some point. Look at this stuff. It's always like tiny specks of uh, copper or bronze in it, but that's what you get when, uh, when you melt degaussing cables. Next time I'm going to be doing this with just the bare bright strip wire. Degaussing cables, not so much. Let's see if we can get this thing out of the mold. Oh, I think I might need bigger channel locks for this. Oh, that's heavy. We're gonna get the other ones. There, these probably work better. Let's see what we got.
And there you have it folks, the birth of a bronze ingot. Let's get this thing to the water. Not as much bubbling as uh, you would get with uh, just copper. Probably, I can probably get this bit off. Remelt that whenever I do uh, more bronze. I hope this is not just a tin inclusion in here. We'll see, we'll see. bronze lag for a future melt. Well, there's 13 grams, so 20 grams lost, I think. What was that? Yep. 980. So, 20 grams lost. Not that big of a deal. Might even still be something left in the crucible. Right, let's see how this thing polishes up. And how my dumpster found drill will perform. Not gonna mirror polish it because this I'm going to be remelting anyway. But uh, yeah, this is a uh, nice result. I'm gonna go and uh, compare it to a copper ingot. I don't have one here, I'll do that at home. But um, Ian Matthews, if you're watching this, this will be uh, the base for your for a project for you, which I've uh, mentioned multiple times on live streams probably. So uh, look out for that in a future video. I'm quite happy with how this came out. So there you go, one nice bronze bar. See you on the next one.